Affirmations and visualizations are a wonderful part of the creative process. We like to describe the creative process as a three-step process, and most people don't initially see it quite this way. But once you get a sense of this, your creations come into place often much more quickly. Step one is where you ask for what you want. It's where the contrast helps you to define what it is you want. And of course, you always know more clearly what you do want when you are aware of what you don't want. So the variety is very helpful. In that contrasting experience, these rockets of desires literally shoot forth from you. Step two is source answers your request. So step one happens without you needing to worry about it or work on it because life just provides enough variety that desires are naturally born from you. And source follows that rocket of desire and literally becomes it. In other words, we've written a book called Ask and It Is Given and we think it is the best title that ever could be given to a book because it speaks of the whole process within the title. When life causes you to ask, it is given. But what happens is you're asking often from your place of knowing more clearly what you don't want. So even though Source knows what you want and becomes a vibrational match to it and calls you incessantly toward it, if you are not a vibrational match to what you are asking for, you can't let it in. You don't allow it, you see. So step three of the process is you must be a vibrational match to your desire. In, a, in simpler terms, you can't feel the need for money and the discomfort of lack of money and let the money in. It's a different vibration. If you feel poor, you can't become prosperous even though you're asking for prosperity and even though Source has lined it up for you. You have to be a vibrational match to what you're asking for. And that's why it is so important that you pay attention to the way you feel and you keep reaching for improved feelings of relief so that you can, by reaching for better feelings, coach yourself into vibrational alignment with the very things that you are asking for. So, affirmations or visualizations are really the way that you apply step three. Most people think that they are step one. They think that the affirmation or the visualization is how I ask the universe for what I, what I want. But you've already asked the universe for what you want through the living of life, through the feeling of contrast, through the launching of the rockets of desires. And Source has already answered what you want. The solutions to your problems have already been given. The answers to your questions have already been given. But you must find a way to make yourself to them. And so when you speak an affirmation, when you say, it is my desire to achieve this, and I see myself already having achieved it. Even though at first, when you speak the affirmation, you may not believe it. In time, as you speak it, you come into the allowing of it. And of course, there are many people speaking affirmations who are not receiving what they are speaking because they're using words and wanting the words to make it so. But the universe does not respond to your words. The universe responds to your vibration. And your emotions indicate what your vibration is. 